What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another vlog and today we are going to be covering my new glove box detail box, my monthly uh, glove box that just came in. Uh, what we're also doing is I pulled the hoe out and onto the grass, really classy, and we are going to pull uh, this bad boy out and let it run. I'm probably going to take it around the block uh, just so we move it, move some of the fluids. It's been sitting here for like two weeks, two and a half weeks. Um, you know, my freshly cleaned wife's vehicle that she hasn't driven since I cleaned it, so it's still clean. This is the longest this vehicle has been clean, in a clean state, forever, for the ownership of it. That, that's, that's, un that's like unbelievable. So yeah, I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna come over here. Um, yeah, I know, the jokes, right? That's the only time I ever pulled out. Ha ha ha, two kids, right? Ha. Huh? So we'll check out the glove box. This thing is awesome. It's much larger now, these boxes. If you remember my previous videos, they were smaller, but they had a lot more sample sizes. So I think the premise is now they're gonna start doing um, more full size samples. And I guess now that we're in quarantine and that I'm starting to head toward more, doing more vlogs and daily stuff to try to, you know, add more videos for you guys since, since you kept asking for it. So I figured this would be the best way. So we'll open this up. We'll see what's in there. And uh, if it's something I can test now or try now or see now or give an opinion on now, then I'll do that. So let's get into it. Whoa, my God, let me tell you, I just slip, slip and slid right into this bad boy. So let's turn this on. First time this thing's been running in weeks. <laughs> She's got 17,000 miles on this thing. I have like 2,000 miles on my uh, on my track hawk. That's wild. This thing's pretty cool. If you saw my uh, other video about this, it's it's cool, it's just small. If it would have had a uh, V6 option, I think this would be pretty much the ideal vehicle, but it doesn't have that, so it is what it is. Um, and another cool thing real quick, uh, she has a pop socket, a pop, a pop F it, screw it, fuck it. So she has that on her phone, and she wanted to get a Pro Clip, which is the best phone mount ever, as far as I'm concerned, but we couldn't do that because she doesn't want to get rid of this stupid pop socket, right? So I got her this thing. So what's cool about this is you just hook the socket into that thing and uh, she's got a little phone mounted right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're gonna pull this bad boy out. Hopefully it still runs good. Yes, I did give her a carbon fiber key cover, but that's neither here nor there. Very, very loaded car and uh, fun. Very tiny. It's very different backing this out of my driveway than it is backing up Hellcats and Trackhawks. You really don't have to worry about anything, you know, when you back it out. Oh, this coronavirus. This thing is starting to take its toll on me mentally. It's, uh, what is it today? Oh, great. Thank God I have one of those clicking seatbelt things. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing's starting to take a toll. It's April 7th. Um, we have another 23 days until the recommended, well, the most recent recommended quarantine is, uh, is through. Um, the only promising thing, I don't know if you all pay attention to the, the news and, you know, things like that, but it looks like there's a potential um, plateau thing happening right now in New York. I don't know much about it, like scientific -y and and whatnot, but if the if it plateaus, I think logically after that there's a peak, or it happens at the same time. And when something peaks and it gets to the tippity top of the booby, then it goes to the other side of the booby. So the other side of the booby is going downward. Right? You go up one side of the tit, and you go down the other side of the tit, or booby, so you guys don't get all offended. You go up a booby, go down a booby? Nah, go up a tit, go down a tit. That's that's okay. So, and you know, hopefully, let's hope, let's pray, let's see what happens. You know, if uh, if things can start um, 
making some progress. I think life is forever altered as far as handshakes and uh, and a lot of things go. But um, I am gonna plan on wearing a mask and gloves for the foreseeable future. That's for damn sure. And uh, car meets will consist of masks and gloves as soon as we get a chance to go back to those, which I'm hoping is in some sort of uh, in some sort of near future. Anyway, I'm just driving around getting some uh, seat time in so that there's no flat spots in the, the compass. And then uh, we're gonna check out that box. Here's a funny observation. I just noticed like as I was coming back from this little drive that the last time my wife drove her vehicle, it had the heat on. So when I got in it, it was the last like, I guess saved setting. So there was heat coming out of the vents. I didn't even realize. I'm like, why? It's so hot out. It's so nice outside. Like, let's be real. It's spring now, folks. You know, we're going to be start wearing t-shirts and shorts real soon. Real damn soon. You know, there's a little bit of a windy situation, but it's good. It's so nice. Let's just hope we get some positive energy here. Um, so here we go. Glove box. Clean drive. Repeat. This is the whole experience. You know, I think you all deserve to experience this the way I would if I'm opening it. Be social. Tag us at Glovebox Detail. And this is what you get. You get this nice, like, paper. <laughs> you feel like you're opening up a Christmas gift with this, you know? You get a uh, sticker each time. Awesome. I always love a good sticker. And then they give you a uh, little card, a little message. So... This is what they say, um, obviously, regarding COVID-19 and, and whatnot. So, basically, they're telling you to do a happy dance. So, you're supposed to go, yay, and do a happy dance. <laughs> so, you're supposed to plan a date with a special vehicle. We could do that. Test the products. Form your own opinion. And bask in that clean car feeling. So this is. I really do appreciate the products that come in here. And let's go over what's in here. A 25 ounce Sonex spray and seal. That's a good product. Auto fiber Korean plush microfiber. Limitless car care cockpit care. You swear, man, I just saw a. Uh, that's so funny. I was going to actually buy that just to test out. Auto fiber finger applicator. Leno's garage vehicle wash. pH neutral. Gotta love a pH neutral shampoo. That's one of the reasons why I was using the Adams. I have a feeling that we have that shampoo but we'll see so this is the finger applicator this is uh for me where this would be is for wheels this is where i would put uh, wax or some kind of sealant or anything like a coating of some sorts on here so i can get into the spokes so that's where that would come in it's got a 15 percent off code glove box at limitless car care the next thing is going to be our Korean plush microfiber. So these you can't really go wrong with. I know a lot of people like these on paint and possibly for waterless washes and whatnot, but I'm not into it for that. I would say possibly like interior stuff, maybe uh, door jams, engine bays and, and whatnot with that is where I would use it. I have other towels. Not that that's a bad towel, but I just have other towels. Let's go with this. Now I have used this in the past and this is such a cool product. It's a pretty good spray and seal. So basically, you clean your car while it's still wet. You're gonna basically spray down the paint. And then from there, you're just gonna rinse it off and make sure you rinse it off with a strong stream. And it's supposed to just protect. It's one of those type of products and it works really well. Sonax is a trusted name. Now, like I said, this is a known product by me. I've used it, it smells amazing. So I actually do likely have another two of these somewhere I have used this before you know what's funny what's actually funny they changed a uh, subtle change here right they added like a grip to there that wasn't here see it's got like a a honeycomb pattern but there's no raised um, now they added like a texture here 
and it's got it actually the design of the label is really really impressive I like it this smells awesome lathers really well and it's pH neutral you can't go wrong with a shampoo that's pH neutral so you could use that um, in your foam gun for instance and if it dries on the paint if it has any issues whatsoever that's why I like the atoms if it dries on the paint then you don't have to have a problem you could just you know reintroduce more soap to it or just rinse it off and it's not going to have one of those situations where it's like acidic or alkaline or it's too much on one end and it's going to cause damage to whatever it's sitting on so pH neutral is very very good when it comes to car shampoo um, see you know what's so funny I, I mentioned this in the past when I first got his I believe there was like packing peanuts or no it was shreds of this I believe it was just shredded up and they listen to the consumer the end user they listen and they pack things so much better so this actually will go onto there and this is the last little uh, bad boy here so cockpit care is an interior dressing with UV protectants we can see how it looks maybe on the uh, inside of the door and particularly the dash um, as far as using the other products oh, that fell as far as using the other products I can't really use this or this at the moment the vehicles are all clean and I'm not doing a wash but that's where things are geared toward with that so yeah what's awesome about this is you not only get the products which even though I have these products I don't have cockpit care but you get discount codes if you pay attention here uh, for Sonax you can do Sonax 20 get 20 percent off auto fiber you get 10 percent off so you can actually go to these websites you can get 15 percent off limitless car care 10 percent off auto fiber 15 percent off at Jay Leno's garage so if this this is the service that they provide if you like it not only do you get to use it and have a full-size bottle, which most of the time lasts a pretty long time, they're giving you value here. You could wash your car. What does it say to use? It says to use three to four ounces. See, this says use three ounces. I would say two to three ounces. So, you know, you, you do get multiple car washes out of this. Not to, but uh, the spray and seal will last you a long time. Cockpit care, a product like that will last you a long time. This microfiber will last you a long time. And... On top of that, you get a cool applicator pad, and you can't really go wrong with applicator pads because they're always a necessity, and they always are relevant, so that's pretty damn cool. But that's it, guys. That's uh, that's the whole kit and caboodle, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Poogie, kick the ball. <laughs> no, don't touch that. That's not a bird. That's a bee. Come here. Hey. Kick it. Get it! Why it's so windy, but it's not even cold. Whoa! Where did that wind come from? <laughs> Get it! Gotcha. Kick this ball. Kick it. Kick it. You're in the backyard. Kick it. Kick it. Kick. Oh, what a kick! Do it again. Do it again. Go. In the backyard. In the backyard, yup. Kick it. And in the backyard. We're in the backyard. Give it a kick. Oh, no, Dad. Because it's rubbish. Oh, that's rubbish. Cookie. Oh. Oh, boy. Kick it. No, it's just flowers. This flowers are moving. Can you kick the ball? Whoa. That went flying crazy fast. Go ahead. You ever get stuck in a house during a quarantine, a quarantini, and uh, you really can't control much of anything in your life, but you can control which way you park your wife's vehicle in the garage? <laughs> I think I needed this change, as silly as that sounds. I really want to just leave the Tahoe on the damn grass. I really do. But I think I just needed this change. I've been looking at <laughs> the driver's side of her car. <laughs> for weeks now and it's it's honestly driving me freaking insane it's honestly making me lose my bananas so um yeah guys hopefully you know some of that or maybe a tiny portion of that was interesting to you i'm sure the only thing that was interesting to you was the glove box detail box because it's pretty dang cool we uh look how much room this thing has just parked really cool so yeah i'm gonna probably clean up a little bit 
that's pretty much the gist of my day. We went out a little while ago, and um, we actually picked up Sonic on the drive-thru. Good stuff. They're Philly cheesesteak. I recommend it. Um, so, I don't know. As far as trying these products out, I'm going to do this in a different video, I think, because then it's not necessarily the vlog. It's a... Uh, I don't know. It's messing around. I'm going to try this out. I want to do it on the Tahoe. I think that's where that would be better suited for UV protection and, and whatever. My wife, I don't think she wants me to put dressing on the uh, interior as far as uh, anything that would be something that she doesn't approve of because she's a very picky person. That's why she married such a fine specimen of a human like me. So anyway... That's all I got for you today. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're an OCD OG, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate the support. And hopefully I'll be able to have some more content soon. Truck comes back from Ripa in a couple weeks. As I always keep telling you, there are some cool little surprises. Not earth shattering. It's not going to be the fastest, fastest track hawk in the world. It's going to be damn fast though. And it's going to be fun and it's going to be something that I put together and didn't listen to other people and get bullied into stuff. And I'm just excited. It's a completely different type of build than the Hellcat. So stick around, stay tuned. I'll see you on the next one. Just to let you know, real quick, this smells like some kind of like spearmint, some kind of like a minty peppermint. It smells good, it's not bad. Oh, what? I just fucking bukkake all over my damn table. All right, gotta go, bite.